Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new Windows 11 updated command prompt and uh, terminal windows. So let me just show you what we're talking about here. So if you do a search for command prompt, you'll notice right away that you have tabs like you do in your web browser, and then also like you do in File Explorer now, which you may or may not have depending on when you're watching this. So you can click on another one, open a new tab. By default it'll open PowerShell, but if you want to open another command prompt, you could do a little drop down arrow and so on. Then you also have the Azure Cloud Shell as well. And so, you know, it's kind of cool. You could, you know, drag them around and re reorder them and, you know, close the ones you don't need and that kind of thing. So you could have multiple tabs open rather than multiple windows if you use a lot of command prompt windows there. So if you go over to the uh, command palette, you could see this gives you a listing of the actions here. And you could do a search for stuff. Let's say you want to see what copy is. So to copy text, control C, scroll to the top of history, control shift home, and then you have some other ones as well. You know, paste or whatever else you want to do. Then you also have the settings here, and there's a lot of stuff here. So I'll just kind of go through the sections. Not going to go through every one of these, obviously. Uh, so for your startup, you know, default profile if you want to use PowerShell command prompt and so on. Uh, default terminal application, oops, let Windows decide, launch on startup, when terminal starts, what do you want it to do, the launch mode, you know, full screen, window, so on, new instance, launch size, uh, interaction, you know, if you want it to have it automatically copy text that you select, plain text only, a bunch of other stuff here. Appearance, if you want to change the theme, light, dark, windows mode, language, the tabs, title bar, on or off, acrylic material in the tab, always on top. Color schemes, if you want to change that. They got some uh, themes here you could use or just pick your own. Renderings, more for troubleshooting stuff. Then actions, if you want to change the action like for copy text you want to change it to, from control C to something else you could do that and you have your defaults and then your other profiles for PowerShell command prompt add a new profile and so on Then you could save it or discard the changes so uh, once again you know just open your command prompt and if you have the tabs you'll know you have it and then you can just kind of go through and fine-tune your settings if you want to change stuff or just you know leave the defaults and just open whatever kind of window you want to open so you could have uh, more than one screen open there when you're running your commands. So um, this computer here is on bill 25236 on the dev channel, so it's an insider computer. So like I said, depending on when you're watching this, you may have this in your retail or on your dev uh, version yourself. So you have to find out when you open it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.